Welcome to a new series here on my YouTube channel about the Pixel Art Academy. The Pixel Engine that you might have been watching if you subscribed recently about developing my Pixel Art uh, graphics engine is a little bit on hold. My priorities shifted a little bit towards getting the game out on Steam and on iOS, on iPad. I think it would be, uh, those would be a really good platform for the game besides on my website. Just a little bit of an introduction about what's going to go into this version. It's going to be called Pixel Art Academy Learn Mode because it's gonna be just focused on the parts where you can learn stuff with the game. A lot of people come into Pixel Art Academy just wanting to get to learning as fast as possible. And having learn mode available, they will be able to do that. So here we are in my task tracking tool where I'm gonna be making all of the tasks that are needed for the sprint. And here under milestones is where I'm gonna be uh, organizing my sprints. So the next sprint is gonna be till the 24th. I will have two weeks to code everything and then I'll have one week to test it and uh, probably then make a video about it. The focus of the first sprint is gonna be to get all of the technology ready so that we can have a uh, Steam and iOS version going. So here are two main goals. Uh, have a desktop build running on macOS and have a mobile build running on an iPad. So the way this is going to work is I will be recording videos at the start, in the middle and at the end of the sprint to show you uh, how things are going. Just document everything and uh, I wanna also to test everything after every uh, sprint and so I will be releasing like an alpha slash beta version out for all of the backers, all of the patrons, so you can test it out while this is in development. All right, we are now one week into the sprint and it's been quite a journey. It turns out putting your web app down onto mobile and desktop isn't very straightforward always. Uh, when you're using open source stuff, there's always something that's gonna go wrong and there's one problem after another problem after another problem. You just gotta keep on solving one at a time and then you go forward. And by now, uh, I actually have a working sort of minimal application. So I don't expect from now on to be super complicated or impossible. It just needs to be built up with this in mind. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to give it my best in the next four days. And let's see what it looks like when I'm done. Uh, so yeah, sprint is over, two weeks have gone by and I have reached the main goals and I have an app going on on Windows, on Mac OS, on iPad, so pretty exciting. So we need to start uh, the Meteor with uh, Cordova build going. So run iOS device is going to build uh, the project for with Cordova, which is the technology I'm using to get the build, uh, the web application running as a mobile application. So this will create all of the necessary files of Xcode so that I can run it on the simulator. I do have to, for the map, for the iOS, for the iPad build, I do need to set some more options up, like not showing the status bar. I think it's gonna be nicer if it's full screen all the time. So now we're gonna run it on my iPad. See, right now it's installing. Gonna take a little bit of a moment to start, and there you go. Now we have the same thing, and you can see my reflection and dirty screen. Well, but it works, it works, and I'm super excited. So we have our iOS device is now working. We can now use the mobile build to also act as a desktop app. So here in desktop package, here is where it created the app itself. So you can see here, it's gonna be jumping out, Pixel Art Academy learn mode. Uh, so I'm very happy with how it looks like as a native app in macOS. It's gonna launch full screen, get a little bit of a splash screen, and here we are. Yeah, now you see there's dark mode applied. And here is the menus that I created. So we have our little about screen, uh, a little copy left, open source thing going on. And there's a debug menu as well. 
Uh, you can toggle developer tools so you could see what's happening. You can look at the console and I'm just going to leave this in. I'm going to leave this in for the for the actual app. I'm not going to just have it for beta testing because I feel like, yeah, it's like if somebody wants to poke around and see how it runs under the hood, why not? Um, it's open source. It's an open source software. You have a report a bug. It would just send me uh, an email to Hyatt Retronator with a bug report if you, somebody wants to say something. But there is also the help option here where you can uh, get help on Discord and it will take you to the Indie Games house, which is the Discord server where Pixel Art Academy is on as well, because that's where you can get the hold of me the fastest. That's it for this sprint. I did also pay for the Steam Valve developer thingy that I can create a Steam page. So I'm also going to be working on that. Uh, hopefully you will wishlist the game and until that I really appreciate if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel I really really appreciate it and I will see you then in a month. Bye bye